It's not easy to find a career path that makes us satisfied and successful. It's not something we are taught in school and that makes the journey all the more difficult. Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. Stop. I know, this quote is so overused, but have you ever wondered if it's really true? Is it the only thing that matters in the equation for building a successful career? Probably not, because neither might you be good at it, nor will people want to pay for you. Some might say it's the higher purpose. The higher purpose might be the answer. The story goes like this. Air Force One touched down at the Cape Skid Strip, bringing President Kennedy on his third visit to America's spaceport. President John F. Kennedy visited the headquarters of NASA. On a tour of the facility, he introduced himself to a janitor who was mopping the floor and asked him what he was doing at NASA. I'm helping put a man on the moon, the janitor replied. The janitor had understood, he understood the vision and he had a purpose. But let us take off the rose colored glasses. Do you believe that the higher purpose of your work makes the magic happen? Yes, yes, until you realize that you have bills to pay. If you do not get paid well, money becomes a real problem on your path to happiness. And I do not even want to talk about the other things like, you know, self-actualization, self-esteem, and so on. If it's not what you love to do and the purpose, then what is it? Maybe it's money. Well, probably not really. I think it's harmony. To live a meaningful, sensible and happy life and career, you need to combine a few things. And you should check Ikigai, the ancient Japanese philosophy about the meaning of life. Ikigai is literally composed of the Japanese words Iki to live and Gai, reason, and roughly translates to reason for being. Although Ikigai has never been and probably will never be about money or job, we can certainly use the concept in a business sense to think about what we want to spend much of our lives doing, what niche and activity we should choose to be happy, valuable and profitable. In Japan, the pursuit of Ikigai means maintaining a balance between what you love and what you are good at, what you can get paid well for, and the last one, and probably very important, what the world needs. In my free mini course, Find Your Niche Without Sacrificing Your Dreams, you can do the Ikigai exercise. And you know, it's for free. You will find all the needed templates and explanation how to do the Ikigai exercise. You'll find the link in the description. Now, let's return to the diagram. The point of the diagram is to visualize the intersection of the four main elements. Example, you fulfill your passion when you do something you love and are good at. You fulfill your mission when you do what you love and what the world needs you to. You fulfill your profession when you do what you are good at and what you are paid for. You fulfill your vocation when you do what you are paid to do, which also happens to be what the world needs. And you know, when you manage to combine three elements, everything gets even better. Like when you combine your passion and your mission, you often find great joy and fulfillment in your work, but it's hard to accumulate wealth. Think of a truly dedicated teacher or charity worker or starving artist. I don't want to, you know, explain each intersection, so you can examine this theme in my blog post or in my mini course. Uh, in detail. So, the point is that getting up in the morning and doing what you love is not enough to harmonize your life. Sometimes you need to find the connection, the link, how to combine some activities to create a balanced life. Let me tell you the last story in this video. I work at the company that was founded by Jared Isaacman, Shift for Payments. He started this company when he was only listening. I left high school when I was 16 years old to start 
a company in my parents' basement. I, I had some exposure to this payments industry from a part-time job that I had just prior to that. And I worked there for about six months. So this was the opportunity I saw early on in, in life. And, um, you know, great basement startup story, lived in the basement, you know, uh, in fact, that was all I did for like three years. And um, it was actually almost getting a little bit burnt out. I needed a hobby. I needed something else in my life. That's where I picked up my childhood passion for, for aviation. I started flying in 2004. I just sprinted at it. I uh, went right to jets, ex-military aircraft, air shows and such. And, you know, um, built up, um, you know, went on a number of really great adventures for sure. And I've had aviation in my company. It's been like pretty much my entire adult life. And in 2012, he founded the company that operates one of the largest fleets of private fighter jets in the world. And you would say, that's amazing. But in 2021, he became the first commander of an all-civilian space mission, Inspiration4. Not only that, but he was able to raise more than $200 million for San Jose Children Research Hospital which focuses on catastrophic childhood diseases like particularly leukemia and other cancer forms. So his passion for aviation and his entrepreneurial talent have taken him into space with even greater success, huge fundraising results. As you can see, he was able to combine his passion, what he is good at, paid for, and what world needs and make his dream come true. That's what you should be all about. Find the perfect blend that fulfills you and the world around you. Many young people have a lot of energy, but if you channel that energy in the right direction, you can literally achieve great things in your life. 